Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So I'm really excited about today's video. I'm gonna be testing out the StarCraft HD Permanent Vinyl. So if you know me, I have been using Oracle 651 Vinyl for years. That is all I've ever used, that's all I've ever known. And lately I've been seeing all over the Facebook groups, the crafting pages, the community pages, people are loving and raving about this StarCraft Vinyl. Some people are even switching from Oracle to the StarCraft. So, you know, when something like that goes on, you gotta test it out. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Um, I'm gonna be making this kid's 12 ounce tumbler and I'm gonna be doing a multicolor decal. So multiple layers. I'm gonna be letting you know how this final looks, how it feels, how does it cut, how does it weed, does it apply well to your surface. I will be completely honest with y'all and I will let you know how it goes. So I've also always used gloss vinyl and I got two packs of this StarCraft vinyl. I have gloss and matte and when I saw the matte, I fell in love. It is just so gorgeous and so pretty. It just has a different look and feel than the gloss. So I'm gonna be testing it out today too. We will see how it looks and how it goes and who knows, I might be changing some things in my shop. We will find out. So let's go ahead and get on into this video and I will share with y'all what decal we're making today and let you see the colors. Okay, so here are the colors we're gonna be working with today. We have matte black, Tiffany blue, pink, coral, and lilac. Super pretty colors. And one thing I did notice right off the bat was that the StarCraft has one inch cut lines on the back. So that is really helpful because you know if you have Oracle, it has these tiny, tiny little um, cut lines in the back and it makes it a little bit more difficult to figure out what size you're gonna cut out for your decal. So already I like that a lot better. So now I'll go ahead and get on the software and show you guys what kind of decal we're gonna be making today. Okay, so this is the decal that we're gonna be making today and I got this particular file off of Etsy. I will link the shop down below. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing the registration method. If you don't know how to do a multi-layer decal, how to line it up, how to cut it, all of that, I have a video and I will link it in the cards. But in this video, I'm gonna be using this registration method. So all we have to do now is line it up on the mat where we want and we're gonna to get to cutting. All right, so our vinyl is on the mat ready to be cut and do not judge me for using this big mat. The reason why is because my smaller mat is very um, dirty, not very sticky, and I wanted to test this out with the best quality possible and this is a brand new mat, so that is why I'm using this big mat. <laughs> Okay, so the recommended cut settings for this vinyl is blade one, speed five to eight, and force 10. But I always recommend just test your machine out because every single machine is different. Those are the recommended settings, but do what works for your machine and how vinyl normally cuts on your machine. So let's go ahead and put this on the machine and get it cutting. Okay, so the vinyl just got off the machine and now I'm gonna take the vinyl off and we're gonna weed it. So sometimes when these mats are brand new, it um, is a little hard to take them off the mat. So I usually like to put it, uh, my mat upside down and weed backward, or take it off backwards. Okay, so it definitely weeded very easily so far. Everything came off just like butter, so.
Okay, so the black is a little bit more detailed, so let's see how this weeds. So it weeded beautifully. The only thing, a couple of dots came off, but that is so normal for vinyl. Like when I do Oracle, usually a bunch of these would come off. So all I have to do is usually just take them off of here and put it on back where they belong. But very, like look at those tiny letters. Nothing came off. So it did a really good job. So I'm just going to fix those just two or three dots that came off. Um, but that, like I said, that is so normal because when you have tiny dots like that, some of them are obviously going to get um, stuck inside of the vinyl. So one thing I noticed about this vinyl is it's not so sticky that it gets all over everything. So if this adheres well, then that's already a plus too. Look how detailed it did for the Be Kind. I mean, that is just, it didn't even struggle with that at all. So, super good with weeding. Weeding got an A plus in my book. So now we're going to do our multi-layer with our transfer tape. And I use R-Tape Clear Choice AT65, the best transfer tape out there. Okay, so I'm gonna let black be my first layer. So I'm gonna put my transfer tape down here. Wow, so you guys saw I literally barely rolled this sprayer over and no pieces stayed. Usually, sometimes with Oracle, it takes a couple times to get all the vinyl off, but it didn't even struggle. Wow. So we have our black layer. layers on. It is coming off so smoothly. It's not even struggling, not one bit. So that was probably the easiest um, multi-layer transfer I've had. Wow. 
Wow. That was probably the easiest multi-layer transfer I have had. I'm super impressed. So weeding yet again, got a 10 out of 10. Wow, so that was probably the easiest, um, wow, so that was probably the easiest multi-layer transfer I have done yet. Um, everything, nothing struggled, none of the tiny pieces, nothing. Everything went on like butter, so um, wow, really good. 10 out of 10 for the layering and applying on the transfer tape. So now let is, let's put it on our cup and see how it transfers to a surface. Okay, so I'm just gonna be using 70% alcohol, rubbing alcohol, you can get it anywhere, and I'm cleaning my cup off, and make sure it's fully dry before you apply your decal to it. The reason you apply alcohol to surfaces like that, it gets any dust, debris, anything like that off, and it's just something about the alcohol, it just kinda helps things stick better and just gives it that clean surface you need to apply vinyl. Okay, so the cup is dry, and now we're gonna put the decal on it. And um, I just always go over that one more time, just in case. So if you wanna get technical with applying to tumblers, you can put water in it halfway, figure out where the halfway point is. But I kinda just like to eyeball it, so that's what I'm gonna do. So take your decal, let's see how well it all transferred together. It did perfect. So when I'm applying a decal to tumblers or anything like that, I'll usually put it on with my fingers first just to kind of go through the curves of your cup. And then I will take my squeegee and kind of just go over it again. Okay, so I've got it adhered as best as I can. Just take the corner and then we're gonna peel back slowly. Oh my gosh, it turned out so good. Y'all, there is no bubbles, none. You see that? I love the mat too, it's so pretty. Okay, so I am so impressed by how today went. You know, normally when you're testing a new product out, you are kind of feeling it out, seeing how your cut settings work with the new vinyl, and usually you have to adjust some things, but with today, I had to adjust nothing. I used my exact cut settings that I do with my Oracle, and it cut perfectly. I loved the look of the vinyl. I loved the back having the higher or the bigger grid lines. That was a huge plus in my book, because the reason I bought my paper cutter was because you know Oracle's grid lines are a little bit more complicated and nobody got time for that. <laughs> so that was a plus. It cut amazing. It weeded incredibly. It um, applied to the transfer tape really well, which is the AT65. It barely required any rolling with my brayer. It just came off easily. And then it applied to the cup flawlessly. It had zero bubbles. I mean, zero bubbles, which is crazy because with Oracle, I always, I don't know about you guys, but I always at least have one bubble usually that I have to work out. That's just kind of the stick and how, um, that's just kind of how it's always been. And with this, no bubbles, which is incredible. So I have nothing negative to say about it. It was great. The only thing now I'm gonna test out is just 
seeing how it holds up. I'm gonna wash it like normal and don't use um, vinyl in the dishwasher, just in case you didn't know, you hand wash only. So I'm gonna take care of it just like I take care of any of my other vinyl cups. And I will update you guys on how it holds up, but so far, so good. It is on that cup. It is on very strong and there are zero bubbles, which is so impressive in my book. And I know this sounds like a sales pitch, but I'm not trying to sell you anything. Like I genuinely wanted to see the comparison between Oracle and Starcraft. And so far I can see kind of what people are raving about that it, nothing negative to say. <laughs> I really don't. Okay. So I went on the website of Oracle and Starcraft. I'm going to give you a couple of comparisons between the two. Um, and a lot of them are similar. So the Starcraft has a durability of five to six year outdoor. The Oracle also has a durability of six year outdoor. Um, the Starcraft has the larger grid lines on the back, which is one inch, and the Oracle has smaller grid lines on the back, which is around half an inch each. Um, the Starcraft has a two year storage life, so this is before you cut it or anything that it can stay in your house for two years under normal storage conditions, so keeping it out of hot, like hot and cold temperatures, things like that. Oracle also has a two year shelf life. Um, the release liner on StarCraft has silicone coated paper, stronger hold for better weeding experience. And Oracle said on their website that they also are coated with silicone backing for weeding. Okay, so next is the colors. StarCraft has 49 colors and Oracle has 60 colors. So obviously StarCraft has less colors than Oracle. But the thing of it is, I only use 24 colors in my shop. That's what I offer. So you're not gonna use all 60 colors. <laughs> so if you find 49 colors that you like on StarCraft, that's great. They have all of the main colors you need and who knows, they might come out with more. But that is the differences from the two websites between StarCraft and Oracle. So I'll be testing it out more and I'll keep you guys updated on it, on how it holds up and how it does. And I'll do different projects with it here and there so you guys can kind of get a feel of it. I will link um, some of the StarCraft vinyl that I got down below so you guys can purchase it if you want to purchase it. But I would definitely recommend, if you're an Oracle fan like me, I, I even thought to myself when people were talking about this StarCraft, I said, I'm just going to stick with what I know, what I like. But how do you know that that is what you're going to stay with if you don't test any other products out? So. I'm going to go right now and I'm going to go buy more StarCraft vinyl. I have these sample sheets. Now I'm gonna go buy some rolls of the mat. I really like the mat, so I'm definitely gonna start offering this in my shop. I'm gonna go pick out my favorite colors and I'm gonna change some things. Like after today, I literally am that impressed. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this was a good comparison video for you between Oracle and StarCraft HD. And I will keep you guys updated on any updates I might have with the StarCraft, but so far so good. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.